Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. Washington Post, shameless as ever. The U.S. economy is great. Stop worrying about it is the headline there at the top. Stop thinking. Keep your eyes closed and vote for Biden, you rubes. The very first sentence in the article, is it possible for economic news to be a little too good? Geniuses of the Washington Post don't really understand that a solid economy is a delicate dance between economic activity and rapid inflation. You can't just dump rocket fuel on it like Biden did after the pandemic was over because you gut the middle class as prices skyrocket. Not that the Washington Post would know that. Credit card debt in the U.S. just hit a trillion dollars. Debt in general in this country is through the roof. Fitch just downgraded the U.S.'s credit rating because we're more than $30 trillion in debt. And just today, CNN reporting that Americans are pulling money from their 401ks at alarming rates just to get by. Yeah, the economy's too good over at the Washington Post. Again, just shut up, don't think, vote Biden. They should, that should be on the top of the Washington Post new paper every day. All right, up next, luxury car brand Porsche caught capitulating to the anti-God left in their new 60th anniversary ad for the Porsche 911. The company made the choice to edit out the Cristo Rey in Portugal, a statue of Jesus Christ that overlooks the city of Lisbon. Once people noticed, you know, if you live there, you kind of notice that, oh, yeah, it's not there. They questioned why the company had edited out the statue of Jesus Christ. Porsche released a statement quickly. In a previously uploaded version of the 9-11 ST launch film, a landmark was removed. This was a mistake, and we apologize for any offense caused. They always say it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. You did it intentionally. We know you did. You had to. If you look at the ad now, though, well, Jesus Christ is back. There he is. Really speaks to the terror that the corporate world lives under from the left in this world. Imagine removing something that beautiful for no reason other than the fear of, what, people that hate God? And you're a major corporation, you're going to make that decision? Brilliant. These are the people that should be fired because they're so stupid. Up next, Grammy award-winning singer Neo had this to say about adult parents, about parents, allowing their young kids to change their gender. Parents have almost, almost forgotten what the role of a parent is. Amen. It's like, okay, Lost control. if your little boy comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl, and you just let him rock with that? that if from? you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision for themselves? Well, uh-oh. You know, when somebody in Hollywood says something sensible, the crybabies lose it. In response, Neo's publicist <laughs> freaked out and apologized for him on Twitter, writing, I'd like to express my deepest apologies Long statement pandering to the LGBTQ community. Turns out, though, Neo didn't approve that and is not somebody that's controlled like the rest of Hollywood. Went to Instagram and he retracted his publicist's apology. And I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth, not the publicist's computer. So check this out. First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. Do what you want to do with your kids. However... Somebody asked my opinion on this matter, and this is how I feel. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life. I love somebody in Hollywood that's actually got cojones because there's so few. Good for you, Neo. That's fantastic. I love that. Sticking to his guns.